Welcome on back to Skippers. Today, I have two players to buy for your fantasy baseball teams. One of them is definitely a buy low. The other one's just like a, a buy. I'm, I'm buying this guy. I don't know how people are really feeling about him, but I want him on my fantasy baseball teams. Thank you to So Rare MLB for sponsoring the video. Do not forget to subscribe. Join the Discord. Let's get into these two players. First player I really want to buy is Pablo Lopez of the Twins. He's three and five this year. He has a 441 ERA. He has 120 strikeouts, a whip of 116 in 96 innings pitched. The expected stat love Pablo Lopez and you should be trying to acquire him while he is relatively cheap. I was looking at a tweet from a good pal Joe Orco and this is what he has to say about Pablo Lopez. You look at the numbers he has a 441 ERA. His expected ERA is 311. His FIP is 329. His XFIP is 344 and his Sierra is 332. He's one of only five pitchers Strider, Otani, Gosman, Snell to have a 30 plus percent K rate and he ranks fourth in strikeouts minus walk percentage at 23.3 percent. If you look at at the stat cast rankings which obviously aren't everything and you can't just tell how good a player is by red dots but if you like that type of thing he looks great 73rd percentile average exit velocity 84th percentile expected era 81st percentile expected batting average 73rd percentile expected slug strikeout rate in the 86th percentile whiff rate in the 78th percentile a chase rate in the 96th percentile and you just look at his fastball metrics their 70th percentile fastball velocity but extension in the 96th percentile Pablo Lopez's swing strike rate is eighth best in the league. His hard contact rate is 20th best in the league. He is top 20 in cold strike and whiff rate. He has one of the lowest left on base percentages of his career, which is where we've seen these inflated numbers at 67.9%, as well as a batting average of balls in play, one of the highest at 311. He's striking out the most people of his career and has been unlucky ERA wise to this point in the season. I think this is one of the absolute best by low spots in all of fantasy baseball. The peripherals are telling us that Pablo Lopez has been good this year, but the counting stats haven't really really back that up. Again, ERA is kind of a, a flawed stat looking at how good a pitcher is. You can look at the XFIP Sierras to better tell how he's going to be for the rest of the year. And those two stats are telling you that Pablo Lopez is going to be absolutely fine and someone you want to acquire for the rest of the stretch run into the end of the year. He was awesome to start this year. Numbers kind of fell off a little bit here, but I think Pablo Lopez, awesome guy to go out and try and acquire. As soon as this video is over, I'm going to try and do that in one of my leagues as well. As you heard at the top of the show, we are doing a private contest on So Rare where you guys get to compete against me, take all your cards, take all your plays, where you can sign up for free and get some great prizes. But this great prize on So Rare for the private contest is a free subscription to MLB TV for the winner. If you don't like watching all the MLB games that are out of market for free from the comfort of your own home, you are crazy. So do not forget to join So Rare, sign up. It is absolutely free. Join the private contest for this upcoming game week. And again, the winner gets to win an MLB TV subscription. So I'll see you guys on So Rare MLB. The hitter that I want to buy is Kyle Schwarber of the Philadelphia Phillies. He's hitting 186. He has 21 home runs. He's driven in 43. His OBP is 326 and has an OPS of 767. Kyle Schwarber is doing exactly what Kyle Schwarber does. Hit a lot of home runs, scorch baseballs, and strike out. He's the modern three true outcome player. I have Schwarber in all of my leagues pretty much, and the 186 average kills me in those leagues, but he makes up for it in his contributions in the other categories. But I think there is reason to believe that the average is going to increase in the second half, and the thing that is killing me right now might not end up being so bad. Even with the bad average and bad strikeout rate, he still creates runs at an above average league rate with a weighted runs created plus of 107. Looking at his percentile rankings, Kyle Schwarber's average exit velocity, 88th percentile, max exit velocity, 88th percentile, hard hit rate, 82nd percentile, expected weight on base average, 82nd percentile, a barrel percentage in the 93rd percentile, and once again, a walk rate in the 97th percentile. The expected stats show that Schwarber should have some positive regression in the second half. Although he was allergic to singles to start this season, his expected batting average is at 225, which is a big upgrade from 186. He has an expected slug of 472 and an expected weighted on base average of 360. You are going to get a ton of home runs. You're going to get great on base percentage, but I think we will get an upgrade in those other categories in the second half of the season as I don't think he's going to end up hitting 185. I think he'll figure out a way to hit some more singles in the second half here and we'll push 200 to 10 hopefully. If Kyle Schwarber is not on your team in your league and you're going to go try and acquire him, I think you just need to do a little litmus test because I'm not sure how fantasy managers feel about Kyle Schwarber because he's kind of doing exactly what we thought he would do and for me that's good enough because I think it'll get better. So I am going out and acquiring Kyle Schwarber where I can. Let me know what you think of these two players to buy a little quick one today. Don't forget to subscribe, join the Discord, and I will see you guys next week.